So do you need Unity Pro? Nope. Thanks to all the awesome patrons. All right, maybe the answer is a bit more complicated than that. Let's try and break it down. Also, thanks to Hans Hoftoon for his support on Patreon. Now let's get into it. The free version of Unity, Unity Personal, includes all engine features. This means that you have access to all functionality within the editor. In previous versions of Unity, a lot of features like real-time shadows, rendered textures, and the profiler were not part of the free version. In fact, you had to purchase separate licenses in order to publish for mobile. But as of mid-2016, all engine features and platforms are freely available. So why would you need to pay for a subscription? Well, Unity now offers two paid price tiers, Plus and Pro. Unity Plus gives you the ability to customize the splash screen. This means that you can put your own logo instead of the Unity logo at the start of your game. You also get access to performance reporting, which automatically collects errors across all platforms and devices, which means that you can quickly find and address issues. This is cool because it can be used to solve bugs after release. And then of course, there's Unity Teams. Unity Teams is a set of features that makes it easier for multiple people to work together on a project. Both Collaborate and Cloud Build are part of Unity Teams. That means that you sync your project to the cloud and other team members can make changes and publish them from within the editor. When a change is made, Unity will then automatically create builds for the desired platforms and send them to all team members. This can be a huge time saver because you no longer have to worry about version control and it pretty much eliminates time spent waiting on builds. As of making this video, Unity Teams is free for everyone, but that unfortunately ends this October. From there on out, Unity Teams can be bought as part of Unity Plus or as a separate subscription. But splash screens and collaboration aside, we all know the real reason for buying Unity, the dark editor skin. LOL! Now when it comes to Unity Pro, you get all the same features as with Plus, but with some added extras. Most of it, however, is fairly minor to regular indie developers. If you're making a multiplayer game, Unity Pro will allow you to have more concurrent users. But really the main reason for picking up Unity Pro is that it has no limit on annual revenue. Remember that Unity Personal is only available to studios who generate less than $100,000 a year. And Unity Plus for studios that generate less than $200,000. Again, this mostly applies to well-established studios, but it's definitely good to keep in mind. So now that we know the difference between the different versions, which one should you pick? Well, that totally depends. In my opinion, if you're a new developer working on your own, there's no problem in using the free version. It has all of the core engine features and some of the cloud stuff to make your life a little bit easier. So you can definitely make and publish some great games using Unity Personal. Of course, you will have to live with the light editor skin. When it comes to Unity Pro, I think it's way overkill for small indie studios, especially one that's just starting out. However, if you're serious about making games for a living, especially if you're working with multiple people, picking up Unity Plus can speed up development quite a bit. Oh, and I almost forgot! If you subscribe to Unity Plus or Pro, you now get a free Essentials Pack. This is actually a really nice selling point because some of the tools like the Uber Standard Shader and Final IK are really nice tools in their own right. So whether you want to get Unity Personal, Plus or Pro, you can click the link in the description to be taken to the website. In the end, the choice is totally up to you. And feel free to join the conversation in the comments. Keep in mind that this video is solely based on my own personal experiences, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say on the subject. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in August, and a special thanks to Hans Hoftoon, Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, Jesper Mikkelsen, James P., Cyborg Mummy, Jason Latito, Aaron, Robert Bund, Husam Kazar and Judaman. If you want to become a patron yourself, you can do so at patreon.com slash Thanks a lot, guys.